What is up, everybody? Pangen here, back with Hearts of Iron 4. Um, Canada are a little together for Victory Let's Play. And we have our forces sailing across the ocean to the United Kingdom, getting ready to um, save things. We're going to slow down to speed 4. I don't like ever going faster than speed 4. Um, and we got Crown Co uh, Corporations, which allows us to get our... Um, dude, I don't know his name. Uh, it allows us to get the guy who um, helps us with our industrial stuff, with uh, like infrastructure and um, all that sort of thing. So, National Housing Act. Wait, what is all this stuff? National Housing Act. Um, dollar a year, man. Dollar a year, man. Okay. Um, you know what, I want to get, let's go strength and ties with the commonwealth, since we are going to stick to the commonwealth. Yeah, I didn't wait for your input, I'm sorry. Um, I just wanted to get back to the game, so, there we go. Okay, so who else can we get? We got a political, uh, guy. This is the guy we got, uh, C.D. Howe, or whatever. Um, so, ooh, wait, we can get him, we can get him for 50? Hell yeah. Let's do it. Um, and otherwise I would be bothered by the notification saying, hey, you can do whatever now. Okay, let's go with our, uh, concentrated industry. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, concentrate. I think still concentrated industry is still better. I remember when the game, when I first got the game, it was like, there was no point in not doing that. But now, um, well things are different. So we're gonna send y'all to Dover. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna chill in Dover. Hang, just, hang, you're just gonna hang out. Um, air wings, low manpower. I mean, all this is stuff I know about, so it's fine. There's not much I can do. Um, let's see, what else can we do? Um, I mean, I guess we can just make sure none of these guys are trained up too much, like as soon as this guy gets to 100, stop them. Um, they are defending all the ports, I do believe is... Yep. Um, they can get a general, right? We have... They, they don't have a general. Um, that really doesn't matter. Sure. Get Thomas. He's a generic leader, but this guy's not. Uh, and what should we call this guy? I don't know. The Canadian... The CAF. The CEF. Canadian Expeditionary Force? I don't know. That, that, that makes logical sense. Um, you know, I think we'll use the volumes a little too loud. So let's just go turn the music down a few notches. There we go. Um, so that is taken care of. The district militia. Yeah, this is not anywhere near a good um, division template. But it's all we got, so... That's fine. And as far as production goes, yeah. Um, why are we even building light tanks? Do we even have light tank divisions? Don't build light tanks. Not right now. If, if anything, build naval bomber. Eh. Build artillery. No, build infantry equipment. There we go. That'll work. Why, what's there no template for? Yeah, I know there's no template for those, but we're going to change it. We need to get those stockpiles up decently. Like, we have two artillery pieces. We have two cannons for Canada in 1936. Like, uh, so what do we need to do? And you're like, uh, I don't know. All right, so you're just hanging out. Y'all can stop. So we don't need to be burning any more infantry equipment that we don't want to. And... I don't know. Let's, let's see what everyone's doing. Rhineland. So that could trigger a war. I doubt it. The AI normally does it. Capital ship focused. Capital ship effort. I don't think there's much of a difference. The UK is doing Mediterranean Bastion. That's got, that's good. That um, you know, is them fortifying the Mediterranean, of course. Um, Central region strategy. What is that? What is that? Oh, that's um just kind of building stuff and then the Russians are doing the Great Purge that is a an interesting one it's like okay so you get um, ooh, looks strategic destruction 
Looks like we might be going down some strategic bomber stuff um, for the Empire. Uh, just checking any of these. I don't know how high our boost can get, but we're going to pay attention to that, like all of this stuff. Um, you know what? Industry. Uh, let's get that radio since the UK is giving us that boost. It's fine. I mean, it's no big deal. All right, who else do we wanted to check? Uh, who else did we wanted to check? Japan advanced torpedoes gives them the long lance, so they're going with their um, Japanese focus or whatever. And our neighbors is doing the neighbors, which means he's going to. Uh, we're gonna get higher ideology drift defense. All right, so we can get our last guy. War Industrialist, Ideology Crusader, um, Quartermaster General we want to get eventually. Let's go to Theorist. Let's get our Military Theorist. Um, yeah, let's get Kenneth Stewart. Let's get him cranking so we can get some, uh, some of that stuff. So we can move towards being free by lend leasing to the UK. I mean, we're not in a position to do that. We are so short on everything. But it's, I mean, what are we going to do about it? Not, there's not much we can do about it. That's thats the thing. Um, how's our supply? Um, decent, I guess. Yeah, it just gets shipped. Why does it go like that? Why don't you just go stay north? U.S. influence. The United States, United States advocation for democracy is starting to affect our country. Radio broadcast allows... While speech from Franklin Roosevelt to reach our people, and we have found many Canadians being attracted to the American way of life. Dominion of Canada is no puppet, nor will we allow our politics to be dictated by the United States. However, we cannot deny the influence the American politics have on our country. In our hearts, we will always be Canadian. Um, sure, whatever. So we got our strength in the ties with the Commonwealth. Let's get this one. Let's get, um, you know, a bigger tech boost from Commonwealth sharing. Remilitarization of the Rhineland is indeed worrying. Now he's just going industrial effort. He probably doesn't have the deployed manpower to go for the Anschluss or any of those more powerful German foci. So now you're going to Air Force, now you're going to Fortify the Rock, good one, Air Innovation, um, National Defense Fund, okay, that's that does what? Adds a singular civilian factory. You're still working on the Great Purge. Um, see, not, not everyone's on the same schedule as we are. Works Pot Progress Administration fun stuff okay so you we're gonna make your emblem different we're gonna make your emblem since you're defending it'll be the castle and since it's the ocean it'll be blue the blue castle and yeah so that is it let's go to speed five games of the olympiad i mean we're not doing a whole lot right now we're just kind of sitting and waiting so hoping that our infantry equipment shortage is not going to last an entire year like it says it will. Um, this is going to be difficult. Like, incredibly difficult. Um, but hey, we're up to the task. We're up to it. So, um, yeah. It's just the way things are. It's part of playing a minor power. And these national focuses are going to make it a little bit better, but we're still a minor power. We still have 15,000 manpower. Like, what is up with that? That is just insane. I know it's the um, conscription crisis among, among French Canadians. I know that's the main cause. So we're going to get more research sharing. Um, what is this? Supply the Empire. Aluminum Company of Kennedy. Of Kennedy? Okay, so we need to go with these industrial ones like uh no i don't want infrastructure let's do national housing act get an extra civilian factory um every little bit helps y'all i know it's not much in the grand scheme of things but every little bit helps and yeah our convoy is just just this is just insane this is just tough um can we get more steel from anyone i guess let's get steel from america I guess that'll help a little bit. Um, maybe we can build these a little bit faster. Alright, so we got mechanical computing. I'm gonna look for stuff with boosts. Ooh, 50% boost to that uh, air doctrine. 50% boost to this close air support. I don't really want close air support. Um, ships are still 
you know, ships. That's all that. No one's gone down land doctrine yet. No one's advanced down artillery yet. Um, we get more for the truck. We need... You, you know what? We'll save that for later. It's going to still be there. Let's go for... We need to go for um, our little... Okay, so now we got to pick another one. Um, do we really need radar? We don't need it. We're not going to fight in Canada. Uh, so let's... I guess now we go with the air doctrine. I don't know. Let's go with submarines. Let's go with submarines. If we're going to build any semblance of a navy, we're going to build submarines. Speaking of, so let's do industrial concerns. Electronics, refining, or industrial. What else do we have? Um, small arms research time, motorization. Okay, let's think about this. What are we going to invest in? Probably aircraft first. Um, Canadian craft and foundry fighters, heavy fighters, tactical bombers, naval bombers, carrier bombers, strategic bombers. You know what? Let's um, get another political advisor. Let's get the. Oh, we already got that guy. Um, hmm. This is tricky. Let's just go with. Let's just go with industrial research time. Um, because. In 1937, a new batch of those opens up, I do believe. Um, we'll find out. Yeah, all these open up in 1937, so there's that. Um, there's only 2% world tension, so that's not too much going on. Um, we'll already start on this one because we do have that boost and because it's November. Honestly, like if it's late November, I feel comfortable. If it's November, I feel comfortable researching for the next something for the next year. Like That's my like threshold. So... Yeah, and I mean, you know, there's not a whole lot going on because we're not training any divisions. We're not doing that sort of thing. Um, encourage colonial elite. Uh, ooh, you got way too much communism support. Um, National Housing Act. Okay. Dollar Yearman. We should... Um, I don't know. Aluminum Company of Canada. Let's go with... Um, Hmm. Let's go with the dollar year, men. And we're going to boost party popularity in France to keep them from turning communist. So, hopefully that works. Hopefully so. Um, you know, we would hate for our whole strategy of, let's have our soldiers here so we can help the British help the French. It would all fall apart if the French go communist. So, we need to boost our party popularity there. Um... What's the Reich doing? Army innovation still. Escort effort. Armament effort. Additional research slot number one. America's supporting Rock Island, which is artillery. And Japan's doing army air innovation. Okay. Alright, so we got some submarines. Um, I don't know. We might go for a navy eventually. Uh, okay. Looking for stuff with boosts. Um, not seeing anything. I won't wait till the national focus for the truck. So, damn it! Why isn't anyone doing? I mean, I guess I don't even have artillery yet, so it's kind of not that big of a deal. Um, what air doctrine is this? Ooh, I mean, I guess we'll get close air support. Why not? Um. We have such a small military, it's not like we need all the techs. Like, I mean, it's not like there's any... We, we If we have everything we need, then there's kind of no reason to worry about the other stuff, right? Um, something like that. So, okay, so let's go with construction 2. Um, and we'll use that industrial boost, uh, boost on another one of the industrial techs. So, we're just kind of sitting and waiting, hoping the war starts... Now, Republican Spain is winning! Look at that. I'm glad the Axis isn't going to be as strong, but the common turn might be the biggest threat in this, uh, in this, um, game. Okay, so we're going to go down Army Modernization so we can get the other thing, the, um, okay, ooh, we just had the Treaty of Addis Ababa. Um, Ethiopia just lost their war. That's, that's unfortunate. Um, I mean, they kind of always lose, so they're kind of in a bad position because 
a major power starts off at war with them. You know, it's not just having a, being national focused into a war. Okay, and yeah, we'll use that boost on concentrated industry number two. Get our factory output up. Get that deficit out of here. Uh, there we go. Okay, so let's go with a... Um, hmm. What should we do? Small infantry equipment. I do like support unit research time. Um, let's wait for that, though. Um, airplanes. I guess if we are doing airplanes, wait, let's pause. Um, we're researching close air support, so... Uh, fighter and carrier fighters. Only these two that we can get. Canadian car and foundry. Um, I mean, it, can we go up? No, we can't boost any of those. We can only get worse on that. And we can't move any of this because we're not at war. Okay, that's interesting. Um, let's do... Okay, so either fighters, heavy fighters, and tactical bombers. Strategic bombers. Or... This one. I'm going to wait for strategic bombers. Um, we have one tank type, so let's do the tanks. I don't know. Um, okay, Hawker Hector. There we go. Air Doctrine. Um, still got that one. Let's see. Let us see. Come on, someone research inner war artillery. Okay, so the United Kingdom's getting that. Um, looking for ships that other people have researched. We're gonna go with. We're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with this doctrine. It's only sixty days. Air superiority doctrine. It's no big deal. So there we go. Um, getting some army experience. There we go. We are getting decent stockpiles. I wonder what we could add to our infantry templates. Uh, army modernization. Okay, and let's go with the truck to get that bonus. So let's let this run. So if we switch these two to artillery, how many artillery? Each one's going to need 72. Um, what if we add engineers and recon? That'll add, that'll cost 30. Okay, I'd, let's um, add recon later. But let's do this and see. Hindenburg incident. Disaster was narrowly averted today. When diesel fuel leak was this blah, 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 blah. Wow. So the Hindenburg survived. Uh, I, you know, I often forget that, I often miss the Hindenburg event on, um, this game. And then the Marco Polish Bridge incident. It's like, well, there, there was some decent stuff going on. Okay, so we got concentrated industry. That is good. Let's get hurricanes. Yeah, let's get the hurricane next. Get our improved fighters. Um... However, this is 68. Let's do that. Let's get this land doctrine. And um, so let's just look at what we're going to want to do with these guys eventually. So we're going to want a recon company. I'm gonna, I know it's not anti-tank, but we're just going to put this one in as if it's anti-tank. And so, okay, so yeah. Um, we're going to get anti-tank, support our anti-tank with these guys because we're going to be fighting the Germans. But um, yeah, that is the way things are going. And that is the end of this episode. So let's just go around quickly. See what they're doing. Levy on mass, bigger military, fortify East Asia. How's our I guess our party popularity boost is helping a little bit. Um, they're doing army innovations too. So which means they did the they did the Mon, not the Molotov, but the treat the USSR. Expansion of what? Expansion of new towns. Okay. You're doing improved railway network. Okay, that's interesting. Um Chinese puppet. Ooh, so they want to puppet China. They don't want to. They don't want war. They want puppet. That's interesting. And Caribbean sphere. So that is it for this episode. Um, Canada. We are going to try and contribute in the war as much as we can. Um, our manpower is actually ticking up from like monthly growth and all that. And I think we did return a lot of manpower from changing up our divisions. So that's the way it works as a small country. Anyways, thanks everyone so much for watching. This is Panzer signing out, and I will see y'all in the next one. Later, y'all. Thank you.